Hello, this is Bugfrag, and I'm going to do a playthrough for Star Stealing Prince. A game by Ronove, I believe. It can be downloaded from RPGMaker.net or from the, the Star Stealing Prince blog. In terms of difficulty, I've played this game before, and in my opinion, this is probably on par with Nocturne Rebirth, if not harder. And if you use buffs, you're going to struggle a lot just to stay alive in boss battles. Oh, then looks like the intro going to be skipped this time, but I'm going to watch it anyways. Once upon a time, there lived a prince, a prince whose kingdom thrived, away from the world, beyond the stars, beyond the flames that destroyed, under the flakes of snow. Oh good, it doesn't all scroll. Take my time reading this. In this kingdom, the subjects are one with the prince. If he is happy, they are happy. If he is sad, mad, or confused, they are sad, mad, or confused. Such is the way of this kingdom. Sounds a lot like some kind of assimilation plot. Like everyone's a hive mind. As of late, the prince has found himself sad. Try as he might, he cannot hide it. Not from his subjects, not from himself. This cannot go on. What is wrong, I wonder? It all began with a dream. Dreams that fool dream. Of something, of nothing, at the same time, burning snow. We begin our tale with his return. Prologue, Prince. Is something wrong, your majesty? No, nothing's wrong. I was just giving an angst that the kingdom's still here. Was there any worry it would go away? Haha, <laughs> probably not. My mother always gave thanks whenever we came back safely from exploring. Ah, she was always a spiritual one. Shall we head off to the castle, your majesty? You can go on ahead. I want to see how everyone's doing. Are you sure? Definitely. Yes, your majesty. All the guards worry too much. Finally, I get some peace to myself. I'm actually pretty tired. I don't feel like going out there now. Let's visit my people and then head off to the castle. Alright. Gotta keep it. I'm actually using a guide because I really don't want to miss stuff. There's a lot of secrets and such. Such as snowmen. And that. I... I actually didn't even look at the guide for this one. I just thought I just thought it'd be funny to examine a barrel. You know, that's that's the first tonic. Next, I should look for a barrier relic, magic gem, and thirty lucre. Oh, well, there's a bit of lag. I really need I really need to get an upgrade from this potato. This potato computer. Maybe I should head to the pub and talk about some. Philosophy with one of the magic helpers. They can get pretty philosophical. It's great. Almost every character has a face portrait and it always points to the right side. Kind of looked a little weird in my opinion, but whatever. Let's see. Are you talking to me? Man, you must be bored. Go find something else to do and stop wasting time.
Welcome back, Prince Snow. It's always good to have you around. The town gets restless without you. I'm here helping keep this inn clean because I accidentally blew up a potion. I didn't mean to, honest. It just looks so fun. Maybe if we run out of MP, we should just throw exploding potions at the enemy and hope it works. Hmm, Vera told me to stay here for the night to keep the innkeeper happy, but I'm not the least bit tired. I wonder what I should do. The set, the, the set of dishes and glasses have dust on them. Dust? Uh, um, uh. Does that actually affect anything? Looks probably not, but might as well. They're all sparkling now. Eh. It's good for PR. Not that there's such a system in this game. Books about jump starting a stale career in random romance novels. Hmm, nothing here. Various household items. Oh, I was hoping that book was readable. Unfinished homework. There are doodles all over the piece of paper instead of answers. Oh, I forgot I could actually run. Let's see, is there an auto-run setting? Uh, it does not look like it. Oh well. Okay, I only get four save slots. I may have to just keep a separate folder so I can artificially give myself more slots and just swap out the saves whenever I need to. Alright. Okay, nothing here. You have anything interesting? Oh, you're welcome. We have no goals. I don't know. Now you came home, it doesn't matter, right? Hmm. That's the life of an NPC. Huh? Snowmen are always passed over. Why do you stop to talk to one? I doubt it has anything interesting to say. I'm pretty sure I get reward for talking to all of them. Let's see. Welcome back, Prince Snow. I think it puts a lot of people at ease when you visit them, so thank you for that. Whoa, I forgot to talk to the girl down there. It almost looks like a potion I could steal. All the books in this house are blank. I tried telling Mom, but she said I should stop trying to find excuses not to read. What am I supposed to do? All these books appear to be blank. That's odd. There's items lying the shelves. No. Whoa, that book is lopsided. And yet I cannot examine it. Hmm. All these books appear to be blank. That's strange. The books in the end weren't blank. It appears to be a town without any snow. You wonder where this is. Alright. 
Anything else I can examine? There's an item shop. You know, if we have a goddess statue, there's no real... There's a healing statue, there's no real need for the inn at all. Hello, sire. All is well within the walls of Sabine. Hope your trip was just as peaceful. Am I pronouncing that right? Sabine? I know my wife would rather you not, but it would be gr great if one night you spend a night at the our inn. It would bring in customers. Hey, you came back, though I guess that's a given. If you left for good, that would have been pretty cruel of you. Do you want to buy any items? If only 100, I... Uh, not sure I should buy anything yet. No MP healing stuff either. Sorry we don't have much for you when you leave town. My mom said we'd get some more in some time. Good afternoon, Prince Snow. I'm happy you came back. My son's tending the store right now, so if you want anything, please talk to him. I think in order to upgrade the uh, uh, the items here, I have to find flowers in one of the later dungeons. Unfortunately, that dungeon is also one that collapses on itself once it's... It's the type of dungeon that collapses on itself once you're done. Really don't like those types of dungeons, because I'm always paranoid I might be missing something. There are household items on the shelf again. It's Lily's dog, Mutler, who delights in sniffing your hand as soon as you try to pat it on the head. Alright. Really bad memory. I can't even remember if I went to this uh, to these houses or not. Sign in sheet for school. School supplies. Hello, sire. Nothing has changed much since you left. The item shop got restocked with potions and antidotes, so if you plan to leave again, you should pick some up. Alright, potions and bandages. Mommy was so angry at me earlier. I was hiding in one of the inn rooms and she found me and blew up on me. I'm totally hiding out here now. Uh, oh, hey, there's something important here. Take one. Alright. Wonder what. I wonder if it's even possible to beat the game without the lantern. Maybe if you knew each map uh, completely. Antidote. Wait a minute, that's. That's... N oh, this is the town hall area. Yup, might as well. Yes, MP healing items. Alright. Yup, take some rope. Just in case. Oh shoot, apparently there's an extra scene later in the game, but I don't think it's, it's probably not too important. Oh, according to the guide, if you don't have the lantern, you won't be able to hit enemies while fighting in dark places. It's basically a permanent blind effect. Yeah, I wouldn't- shoot, I wonder what kind of cutscene I missed, just by getting this stuff early. Alright, looks like I have to check the backside of the shelves in order to get items as well. Alright, revive herbs. Nope, nothing else I guess. I see your back. I heard that Richard was panicking. That'd be a sight to see. Is 
The husband of my slaughter, I really don't like to be kept in here. It's much more lively outside. But I do like that you visited me. Don't get me wrong. I just wish my husband wouldn't brush his duties off to me. The pu this pub was his idea. Oh, Prince Snow, you're back already. Oh, don't... Please don't tell Vera I was here. I just need a break from all that research. Concentrating on this food. He looks a little smug as he decides which card to pick. She's concentrated on the cards in her hand. I'm, I think I might as well search these while I can. I think later in the game I, they won't let me explore the upstairs areas as much anymore. Dust them? Because I, it's not like I'm going to be able to dust them later. Perfect drink. Hmm. Various textbooks and comic books. Sometimes when I'm not expecting it, I feel weird. Like, I'm not thinking like I should. I asked Mother about it, and she, but she said it was silly. I wonder. Huh? I can't examine this paper? Huh? Oh, Cyrus, good to see you're back. I'd have something prepared to welcome you back, but you see, I seem to be a terrible baker. Huh. Bread. Dusties. Is there an actual reward for dusting everything? Probably not, but I'm going to do it anyways. Recipes, children books. Mm. All right. <sighs> blank books. So many blank books. Kind of suspicious, huh? It's like someone was trying to purge information on purpose, but that would wait, take way too much work. Just trying to blank out every page. There are books of various topics. Book of recipes. A few novels for children and a few books on managing a store. Nothing here... I can... Oh! A list of products needed for the item shop. All the boxes are locked with labels on them. Some are extra materials for the item shop and some are school supplies. Blank books? Prince Snow, do you have fun on your trip? I wish you would take us kids sometime. We'd love to go exploring with you. I can't remember if I was in this house already. Romance. Dishes to dust. Alright, I don't think there's any more silverware I have to worry about. Uh. Oh, I almost lost track of the passable part. Oh, Prince Snow, I hope your trip was a good one. Alright, nothing I can really get here. This guy's a pretty pimpin' upstairs room. I already talked to that one. I already talked to these people's. Hmm. Alright, did I talk to every barrel down here? I'm pretty sure there's going to be hidden items at some point. Alright, talk to the one near the inn. Oh. Barrier relic. What, those do, what did those do again? 
Break open and the whole party raises defense. I wonder if it'll be possible to buy these later, or at least farm them. Well, don't talk to me now. If I'm talking to you, that means I'm not moving and he'll catch me. Hello, Prince No. Oh man, if you're talking to me, that means she'll get behind me and tag me. My plans are foiled. Well, I talked to both of you, so it evens this is, the score evens out. Probably. Weapon shop. Alright, let's dust these, because we're such a good citizen. Alright, better go upstairs while I have the chance. Fantastical lands and daring heroes. Clock, a globe, you can't find Sabine on it. Clothes and linen inside. You probably shouldn't dig further. That's a bit rude. Nothing in this bed. Alright. Look at my armor corner. Oh, we currently have the best items, so... We can't really get anything for a while. Oh well. We're just gonna have to pick up stuff from dungeons for now. All right, I don't see anything here. All right, took this. This is this is a church. Let's see, various books, many deal with religion, a person's soul. Welcome back, Prince Snow. It always warms me up when I see you visiting around the town. You remind me very much of your mother. Various books on the shelves, many dealing with religion and prison soul again. Alright, maybe some more stuff to dust. No? Really? I was hoping to dust these. Tea and the cups have gone cold, but the apples look delicious. Hmm. Eh, it's all the same here. Alright, we already visited the item shop, I think. That's the only place I can really buy from right now. Let's see. Oh, snowman! Child made me long ago, and I'm still saying, I think this is a good life. Come back, you weren't gone for that long this time, were you? See, that was a snowman. Alright. Magic gem. I think this is a permanent stat increase. Oh, it's a really hidden snowman. There's supposed to be five of them. Hmm. I don't know what to say. No one's ever tried to talking to me before. Alright, money. I think that's it for the items, but I think I might be missing a snowman. Let me check. Ah! Sneaky! Very sneaky. I appreciate that you took the time to come find me. One day fortune will smile upon you. I don't think I explored this house up here yet. Yep. Magic Helper. Vera sent me here to clean up and cook a few things for Richard when he's not worrying about- it. When he's not worrying about you, he should be able to relax in his own home. Between you and me, I think she likes him. Stove. Free things at- Cook free things at once. Towels for the kitchen and pots and pans are located here. Spices and cooking material line the shelf. All these books are blank. Huh, a broken radio- a broken music box. Alright. 
I think that's it for the town. I hope. It's really nothing back here. Alright, in this area there's supposed to be three snowmen. So left of a path chilling near a lamp. I think I have a twin. Is there a twin of me? Or many twins of me, I wonder? Hello, sire. All is well within the walls of Sabine. Hope your trip was just as peaceful. Same thing. Oh, here's a snowman. I'm not the snowman you seek. Shoo, shoo! Eh, says same thing. Alright. Oh, sire, all is well. We are strong! No one can tell us we're wrong! Alright, that was the third snowman. These two say anything different? Welcome back, sire. That's it? Hmm. Alright then, time to go inside. I can't enter the side doors until um, I've completed some events, though. Welcome back, sire. I believe Richard has been looking for you since this morning. He should be in the throne room now. Thank you, I'll go there now. No doubt he has a few words to share with me. Prince Snow! Hey, I, I see you didn't let the kingdom go up in flames while I was gone. Good job. Why were you gone for so long? Didn't you tell me that you'd be back by the time sun came up? It's almost dusk now. Well, we lost track of time, so I had them set up camp. It wasn't that cold, really. How far did you go? You didn't go past the bean forest, did you? Stop being such a bother. I came back alive, didn't I? That doesn't matter. You aren't just a prince anymore. Your parents left you this kingdom. You have to start taking it seriously. And I am. Father used to go out to explore and would come home randomly. Why is it different for me? There was still your mother. Now that we've only got you, we need to be more careful. And I am fine. Look, I'm very tired and I'm just going to head off to bed now. What, what about your duties? Well, everyone in town seems to be happy. What do you want me to do? Ha, huh, I knew it. You're just being a pain on purpose, aren't you? You need to start taking this seriously. We don't want the kingdom to fall, do we? And it won't. You can finish yelling at me in the morning, alright? Fine, tomorrow we shall continue this talk. I'll be all ears tomorrow, I promise. Good night, Prince Snow. Make sure the kingdom doesn't fall while I'm sleeping. Uh. That leads to the library. My room is up the stairs. Okay. See trees outside. Snow is weighing down on the, down the branches. Okay. No, no going back. All right. Oh, I can go. Alright, let's talk to you. All is well here, sire. Please feel free to make yourself comfortable. At least it's a sitting room. Alright, time for some sleep. Sleeping on the ground is not good for my back. I should get out of these clothes and into my night clothes and then I can crawl into bed. Alright. Seems to be odd book. Take it. Pro it's probably not going to be possible to even beat later parts without this, uh, without his very first offensive spell. Snow took the book and flipped through it. Snow learned how to cast Flame 1. 
All right, nothing else to see here. The flowers look and smell real, but they are a magical construction by the magical helpers. A diary sits at your desk. Only one entry is written in it, and you would rather not read it right now. It's your desk. Richard told you you should keep a journal like your father, but this is just a really poor attempt at one. A bathtub. It's not the t right time for a hot bath, right, though. It's a toilet. Why, you're looking as handsome as ever. No, nothing for the towel. Change the night clothes? Change. There we go, all comfy. Now to get into bed. Alright, IP attacks are basically skills that can be uh, uh, skills that can be used from your IP gauge, which fills up when you get injured in battle. You probably won't see much use of them if you're w wiping out random enemies quickly, but against a boss, you'll definitely get a chance to use them, and you probably should if they have status effects. A special mace passed down from King the Prince. Lightning element, a lightning elemental IP skill. Hmm. Alright, where's the... We like to go to bed now. Sleep. Ashes to ashes, all blown away, all snow now, all snuffed out under the flakes. Oh, do you notice me now? You've been asleep most of the night and still you haven't even noticed me. Why can't I get up? You're asleep, that's why. Oh, well, um, what are you? I don't know, this is your dream. Haha, <laughs> I guess it is. It still doesn't make sense to me. Dreams often don't. Though your voice sounds familiar. Did I know you when I was a kid or was that some other scarecrow? It might have been me. I've been trying to talk to you for a long time now. Or eat you. Your parents really don't like me. Well, if you don't eat me, I can talk to you. Did you know my parents? Did you ever look at them? What do you mean? You have your mother's eyes. It's very creepy. Can't you close them or something? She used to be so terrible, I think. Were you there too? I don't think so. Um... What's wrong with the world? I don't think anything is at the moment. No, no, I mean the world, not here, out there. I'm not following. And that's it. Wait, I think I missed something. Away, away they took her. Alone, alone up there. Your parents did. You were there, weren't you? Hold on, I didn't catch that. I think. Too bad he didn't explain more about the world outside, Sabine. I think you're waking up. 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 Okay. Or not, I lied. I think you can get up now. Wait, where is this? Are you stupid or something? It's your dream. Why don't you get up and look around? I have something for you, if it'll make you feel better. Just come down the north path. What are those lights for? For your birthday, I dare say. I'm a few months late. Why don't you get moving now? You're trying my patience. Jeez, alright. It's water. Huh. Oh my god, who is she? Is she okay? It's your dream, you idiot. She's fine for now. Just a little mannequin with glass eyes, glass head, glass feet. Why is she here? I don't think I've ever seen her before. So quick you are to forget a witness. Maybe, I know. I'll eat her up just like I promised your dear mother and father. What? 
Or wait, I know, I'll burn her limb from limb, make her a pile of glass ash. She's locked away somewhere high and she'll be trapped. Then I'll be able to eat her. Do you like that? Stop it right now, what the hell are you talking about? Maybe I should burn you and hang your lifeless body in front of your wonderful parents? Yes, it's all your parents' fault. I will find her and eat her, limb from limb, and then I'll eat you and burn everything, just like they did. I promise you that, my little prince. Ooh, man, this doesn't feel like my bed. It's not. Uh, what a dream. It creeped me out so much I don't even know why. It's just a dream. Oh well, I guess. I have to get down to the throne room soon or Richard is going to get angry again. And so the prince went was home and back to the duties he had forsaken while he explored. However, his mind wasn't entirely on his duties. One can imagine, a dream such as that does not leave a person quickly. He tried to hide his discomfort, but the images kept coming back and he was having trouble concentrating. He couldn't forget those flames and the girl, though she was just a fuzzy image now, she looked so familiar. Sire, I propose making rooms within the library in which we can hold school lessons for the children of Sabine and have an extra study. Sire, what's wrong? Nothing's wrong. And that would allow for magic helpers to also have a room of their own so they do not bother the library assistants with all their... You can't hide that from me. Did something bother you in the night? I said nothing's wrong. And your, your father didn't make much for the library. Only as a place for, to house histories. But I feel we should expand upon the, the idea like your mother had planned. The library! Um, yes, your majesty? You're brilliant! Oh, thank you, sire. I always had a feeling I was, but coming from you, it means a lot. What's wrong, your majesty? I'm going to the library and I do not want to be disturbed. I have something I wish to look up. Oh, let me announce that to the assistants. They would love to give you some help. Snow, what's wrong? Nothing's wrong. I just had a peculiar dream that's been bothering me. I will let you know what my search in the library entails if it is relevant. A dream? You're supposed to tell me when you have a dream. Do you forget what your mother told you? A dream is just a dream, right? Now leave me be for the time being. A dream isn't going to kill me. <laughs> As you wish, your majesty. If it truly was a dream that you are concerned with, you should not hesitate to inform me of the details. You shouldn't leave so often. Richard panics whenever you're away for a few days. All is on the front room, sire. The seats have been fluffed so the next time you send them, they will be as soft as can be. All is on the front room. Alright. Okay, looks like I can leave whenever I want now. No, or not. Nothing wrong here. Alright, this is the exit. Alright, remember the library was supposed to be on the way to his room. Whoa. No, no, know what they're talking about in there. All this magic stuff just flies over my head. I think these are the people who explain game mechanics. Here's me taking a nap. There is magic books on the shelves and one that explains how the body, the mind, and the soul interact in a normal human being. There are notes in the margin questioning if all those parts exist. If we can live without one of the parts and some scribbling you can't understand because of Vera's handwriting, and because Vera's handwriting is terrible. Various magic books on the shelf that you can't even begin to understand.
There's a globe on the counter, but you can't seem to find Sabine. Various research papers of Vera's handwriting all over, though you still can't understand a thing. This isn't reacting the way it should. Wonder why that is. I found this plant under the snow. It seems to have gained magical powers. I'm researching it at the moment. Maybe some kind of super plant. I'm extracting magic potions from this gemstone that one of the guards found. I'm not finished yet, but when I am, I shall give you some. Oh, Prince Snow, have you studied your magic? If you need any refresher on magic or anything of the sort, feel free to ask. About magic, no one knows where, uh, for sure where magic comes from. We have theories. One popular one is that people are made up of three things. The body, mind, and soul. Clearly, if our bodies get too bad in battle, we'll lose consciousness unless someone can help us out. The mind allows us to tap into skills enchanted into weapons and armor, which I will go over in a bit. Our ability to use magic without aid of an item comes from our souls. The tomes teach us how to reach into our souls to draw out the magic dormant within. I found that magic tomes can be found all over. I'm not entirely sure why, but it's quite handy since Sabine isn't connected to the mainland. You should always search high and low for them. Some are obvious to find, but others are a bit trickier than that. I believe there was a tome for a basic flame spell in your room, unless you already picked that up. But a word of warning, just because you happen to have a magic tome doesn't mean you can learn to spell, Snow. The spell has to match your element, so no matter how often you read a tome with a water spell in it, you won't be able to make it work. So I can't use an art element at all? You can't learn the spells, however. If anything you have currently equipped has magic enchanted into it, that means you can use whatever spell that is. For example, your mace is a basic lightning attack. When you disequip the mace, then you no longer have the attack available to use. However, those spells need a little extra to work. Your determination goes up when enemies pummel you with attacks. Use the determination you built up to use the magic that's connected to your equipment. If you become knocked out, however, all that determination goes away, so be careful about that. Determination? What do you mean? In layman's terms, when enemies attack, your IP item point gauge goes up. The skills from your equipment uses those points instead of MP. So, um, I'm not sure that makes any more sense. It does to someone. You'll understand it when you get in the battle of snow. Don't worry. Was there anything else you wanted to know? Elements. Oh, I have a handy diagram for this question. Everyone is born with an innate element that corresponds to the season in which they were born in. People born in the summer are a fire element. People born in the winter are a water element. Autumn is wind. And spring is earth. You were born in the middle of summer, Snow, so that makes your element fire. At first we were unsure because Sabine doesn't really see seasons, but as soon as you accidentally singed off a guard's eyebrows, we knew. Because we all have an innate element. That means we all have an innate weakness. It works in a sort of rock, paper, scissors way. And on the chart here, I have to show the weakness in a clockwise fashion. Fire is weak against water. Water puts out the flames as long as there is enough. Fire isn't as weak against ice unless the ice happens to melt. Water is weak against lightning uh, uh, that the wind brings. The lightning will electrocute anything inside the water, which includes the caster themselves. Wind is weak against the earth because earth can trap the wind, and it also grounds the wind's lightning. With no path to go anywhere, the wind is helpless. Lastly, earth is weak against fire because there is very little earth can do to fire when the flames scorch the lands. If you are hit by your weakness, there is a chance you will be stunned momentarily, which leaves you open for a follow-up attack. Kinda reminds me of Shin Megami Tensei games. Thankfully, you can also exploit your foe's weaknesses and get an extra attack in before they can get back up. Since you have to move quick for the follow-up attack, it's a simple attack, no magic or whatnot. So use it wisely. If you suspect an enemy has an element that can stun you, be sure to take out that enemy first. Was there anything else you wanted to know? Alright, status ailments. They are very handy in battle, so you know. If you're ever in a tight spot, try to figure out if inflicting a status on a monster will help out. 
Chances are it will. Some of them are pretty obvious. Poison, knocked out, paralyzed, sleep, etc. The ones you may not be aware of are ones that come from using certain elements. For example, fire can burn an enemy and lower their stats and make them more prone to being hit. Water can make you wet, which can... which makes you weak against lightning, which can frazzle you, leaving you stunned for the rest of your turn. And of course, ice can freeze you. Antidotes get rid of most ailments, so if you're frozen or wet snow, just heal yourself. Since your base magic is fire, that'll get rid of that. Just try to use your common sense, and give back the enemies what they dish out to you. Was there anything else you wanted to know? I'm good, thanks. Well, good luck, Snow. I know you're very determined, but don't do anything to get yourself hurt. If you need any help, don't be afraid to ask. Bunk beds. Nothing here. Oh no. This is where some guards sleep and some magic helpers, though we magic helpers usually like crashing on the couch in the magic hall. The couch is very comfy, don't judge us. Or if I leave and come back, maybe I'll be able to get to that other shelf. Nope. Oh wait, there is something! I knew it! Tonic! Alright. The only other item in this uh, in this uh, building is a hairpin. All right, let's go this way. Now, when the kitchen is so high strung, I just wanted to ask if her or if I could wash a few plates and. She about threw a pot at me. Vera doesn't know even know why she acts so different from the rest of us. I was supposed to help her, but she keeps shouting me out of the way. Various fancy wines, potatoes. You fear the ones at the bottom of the crate. As long as they're not green, hopefully, those can kill you. Something smells a bit off. Oh, sorry, excuse me, I'm preparing the meals for today. Do not distract me. Rat poison? Why would someone put it with the spices? Baking dish in the oven. Pot. Ingredients and spices. Various herbs. It looks more like corn and herbs. Okay, what's in here? This is what well, appears to be the dungeon. Oh, this is oh, this is not the dungeon. This is a librarian. I guess the dungeon might be one floor down. Please come in and research your heart's content. Thank you. I appreciate all the help you will give me while I research. Now let's get started. Okay, I hope I didn't miss a chance to get the hairpin. I can probably get back in anyways. And so the prince remained in the library and searched fervently for information. He wasn't sure what kind of information, of course, so he looked in every section of his parents' library. Long into the night, he stayed with the assistants running around trying to find information. All worked hard and he did not take his eyes from the book. There had to be something. By morning, he was tired, as were the assistants. Oh, is this...? Wait, no. That can't be. I have to talk to Richard about this. What is it, Your Majesty? The guard said you told them it was urgent. What was my parents' problem? Excuse me? This- just read this. Isn't that your father's diary? Why did he leave that there? What- where do you find it? 
It was tucked away behind a few stacks of useless magic books, kind of like someone hid it there. You should have burned it if you didn't want anyone to find out that information. Just commit it to memory or something. This is what is so urgent? Just read what I bookmarked. The date that circle in red? Yes, yeah, that one. It says today is the day we had agreed upon. She was the witness and now he is gone. She is now a star princess and we have put her in the tower to the east. She will be locked there. Oh. Oh, that's all you have to say? This doesn't matter. This was years ago and it has nothing to do with you now, Snow. It has everything to do with me. I inherited this kingdom, therefore I inherited everything my parents in this kingdom did. I think you're taking this too far. You were but a child back then. This isn't what... Why is this written down this way then? Tell me why my fire is glowing about it for pages on end. Saying how he finally figured out how to preserve himself and my mother saying how it's wonderful the girl is locked up there. Now, your majesty, you've been up all night. I really think that you need some rest. No, don't you dare suggest that. You guys locked her up when she was a child. For years when she's been up there and you don't give a damn? Everything is done for a reason. Please, no, listen to me. Calm down, my father and mother were all about justice and now I learned they did this and bragged about it? Do you know about this? Snow, please, you're overreacting. And now you want me to ignore it? What is wrong with all of you? We didn't leave her alone. I can't leave her captive up there any longer. It's not right. We don't need to get her out of there. She's fine, has a job to do, and we're all fine here. Please, just listen to me. No, Richard, I'm going and I'll get her out of there, whether you like it or not. No, you can't do that! I order you to keep your mouth shut. I need to fix what my parents did wrong. I'm not going to inherit this kingdom with that over my head. Good, that shut you up. Now I'm going on my own. You needn't have any soldiers prepared to go with me. That's way too dangerous. You must reconsider. Didn't I tell you to be quiet? This is my burden to bear. My parents screwed up and I'm going to make it right. I won't let innocent girls be locked up for no reason. I will be leaving shortly. I'm sure you can manage the kingdom without me for a day or two. When I return, I expect our guests to be welcomed. A flash of anger and now determination. No one could deny the prince passage to the Eastern Tower. It didn't matter if his argument was very wrong. Everyone was one of the prince. A plan has been made and now the prince will, will venture into the wilderness the fictal was broken. Save the girl and all will be well in this snowy kingdom again. Chapter 1. Into the Wilderness. I better make sure I get all this stuff. Alright, the tower is east of here, but I have to go through Sabine Forest. I should check that I have my spells and some items before I leave. If I need tips on fighting phantoms, I should talk to Vera in the Magic Hall. Alright, where was the hairpin? I better... I better keep exploring this castle. I did not realize that was a library. Alright. Okay, this... Alright, this place. It's the entrance to the basements in the catacomb, sire. We're not allowed to go in there. Alright, up we go. This was to Snow's room. Alright. Time to explore everything else. The guest room. Time to inspect this place. When is about the country you never heard of? You wonder if it even exists. Maybe, maybe, he'll, maybe that was the, it was talking about one of the places in the sequel. All right. We used to play music for some reason. Stopped working. It's just decoration now. Right, nothing in here, seriously. It's a bed. What's this tucked under the pillow? I had to inspect a very specific part of the bed just to get that item. Oh boy. Why does it look so familiar? Can Snow equip it?
That's strange. Maybe it's only for a later character. It's only for a lady, I guess. They'll have to go to a female party member. Bathtub, not as fancy as yours. Looking handsome, a toilet just as plain as yours. There's linen, there hasn't been any guests in years. Alright, let's see. Did I miss anything in this? I can't even examine this bookshelf. Let's see. Alright, did that. What's on this side? This is my parents' room. It's been locked since they passed away, and I don't wish to enter at the moment. Alright. Better keep exploring just in case. Uh, I don't think I checked this area yet. Oh. It's the top of the... It's top of the castle. At least part of it. Alright. I think that's almost everything. Yeah, this is just to leave the castle. I've already been up here, I think. Yep. Okay, this is the kitchen, been here. Stairway. Nothing to see here. Oh, did I explore this part? Yeah, I did. Okay, this is the top of the castle. I guess I better go inspect the town now. There's some really important items I have to get. Well, man, I might as well check out the library. There's references to other m m real-life media here. A hero no more. This seems to detail an adventure of a hero forced to perform heroic duties twice, so some chapters appear to be missing. Starland Mayday. This was written by the first Princess of Sabine. She was fascinated by the stars and worried about the ones that would one day go out. A great voyage. This is a log of a journey aboard a ship, but a lot of it has been blacked out. I wonder if this has anything to do with Snow's parents' backstory. The first details the reign of the first king and queen of Sabine. There are no scroll in the margins about a reminder that these are different than him. Spires reward. There are detailed portraits of spires of every kind. You shudder as you return a book to the shelf. This is, hello, sire. This is the grand library that your parents brought over with them. I have been maintaining it as long as I can remember. Feel free to look through it. Hello, sire. Don't mind me. I'm trying to put these in order. Someone came through and mixed them all up on me. History of Sabine. A book about the history of Sabine, though. Upon opening it up, it appears to be blank. Spider House. A novel about a dark adventure where the five heroes don't trust each other. It does not appear to have spiders of any kind inside. Ghosts. What are they? A recent book written by Vera. It documents her research on the ghosts wandering the lands of Sabine and how some can summon phantoms to attack. Mortuk v. Buckfist, a novel about how Mortok finally died at the hands of Buckfist, who appears to laugh maniacally for pages on end. Malice, a novel about a brash young man who is charged to protect a young woman named Alice. It appears to have a sad ending. Oh, are you looking for anything? I have the entire library memorized. So wait, where does this book go again? The Painter, a creepy tale about a pink-haired girl who is haunted by a ghost. The Hero of D Delonesia, a fancy novel about a protagonist you name who, who with a snarky personality, comes to save the world. A Reminder to Live, a fancy novel about, that is about a knight who is charged to protect a priest. A Guide to Fighting, tips and tricks about the, in this thick book, mostly about taking advantage of an enemy's weakness and doling your own weakness during battle. 
Creation of others. This is about how the magic helpers and guards came to be. Most of them appear to be magic clones of each other. Doesn't say who created the clones. Rainbow sheep. It chronicles the dying sh of sheep wool and how some sheep are being born with multicolored wool. Gatsby the Great. This looks to be about a dead king who always saw those odd green lights everywhere. Treasure Abound. It describes how to accurately make your items look vastly superior to anyone else's items. Free Birds, a collection. Despite the misleading title, these are a collection of short stories and they feature the habits of birds and the like. A Dragonfly Stream, a fantasy novel that chronicles the adventures of a band of heroes riding on the wings of a dragonfly. A Child's Voice, a collection of various children's books. Some appear to be quite old. Poems, poems. Despite the title, there doesn't appear to be a single poem within this book. Cooking, a vast encyclopedia of various recipes and documentation of all kinds of ingredients. A gents puzzle, a book of puzzles and mysteries. A few puzzles have the solution scribbled into the margins. Star chart, a book which has various charts for the sky, detailing all the different star constellations. Bad eggs, an interactive novel in which you are an arsonist who is sent to a detention camp. There appears to be a perfect pebble inside, perfect in every way. You let it be because it's perfect in the book. The library came over with your parents so long ago. It's such a nice place, very serene and quiet. Until the kids get here for their weekly meeting. She appears to be taking a nap. Huh? Smiling Sunflower is a book full of various portraits of a sunflower that appears to be smiling. I already took back did this one. Question mark. This book is completely illegible. It gives you a creepy feeling, however, and you slowly put it back on the shelf. The Royal Family. A collection of histories of the Sabine Royal Family. Some names have been blacked out and you don't appear in the book yet. Flowers. A collection. A collection of dried and pressed flowers. Oh man, it's getting hard to read while I've been talking for so long. A, fan a fantasy final, a novel about a group of heroes attempting to save the world. Despite the final and its name, this appears to be a s there appears to be a series of this novel. These End of Wings, an encyclopedia about various birds that have gone extinct. Masters of the Wind, a fantasy novel about a young man and a skeleton. I have yet to play that game. Oh, Sire, I hear that you're leaving again. Yeah, I have some business to do. Don't worry, I don't plan on being gone for long. Too bad you aren't taking anyone with you. Here, take these, and I found them hidden in our house. You receive free sanctuary statues. Ah, uh, thank you, Henry. I think these are, uh, are uh, heal completely heal you outside of battle. Yeah. I think these are uh, yeah, only outside of battle, yep. Yeah. Otherwise, they'd be pretty. They'd be pretty much elixirs. Does this? I, I don't. I don't remember. Does this work on the whole party or just a single target? I hope it's a whole party. That would really help if I drop it right before a boss battle. All right. Hmm. Cause sworn there would be something here. I heard you're leaving again. Is that true? Yeah, I have some business to do. Don't worry, I don't plan on being gone for long. If you should stay, you know when you leave we all worry, but uh, here, take this. My sister and I found it. Maybe it'll come in handy. Yes! The scary mask. Thank you, Joshua. This, this is an infinite use item, by the way. I don't think Barrier Relic is one, since it breaks. Yes, this one lowers defense and magic. Good against, good against the bosses that favor magic or physical attacks. If that, in that case, you'd want the fastest party member to use this one and then have the second fastest use the, uh, the, uh, the child coronet. 
All right, sir. Make sure I talk to everything. All right. Gotta inspect every house, talk to every NPC. All right. Vera sent me here to clean cook. Okay. Who you mean? Okay, nothing here, I guess. Maybe. No. No NPCs that'll give me anything in here. I guess the magic helpers and guards, since they're clones, they don't really have anything to give. That's that kind of sucks. So well. All right. Let's see. I right, got this one. Got sweep this town. You there, a guard. Oh. Alright. In that case, let's go to the weapon shop and see if there's anything. It's true you're leaving? Yeah, I have some business to do. Don't worry, I don't plan on being gone for long. I hope it goes for you. Uh, don't forget to stock up on potion and the like. We don't want you to get hurt out there. Oh, and take this. You received a tough potion. Ha, oh, thank you, Marf. What does this do? Okay, it, attack and defense buff. I know you're leaving. It reminds me of your father, but don't stay out long like he did. It it always make me make us and your mom worry. I like how every NPC seems to have a name, except for the uh, cl uh, the cloned guards. A lot of games just give uh, have, uh, have plenty of nameless faces in the crowd, but this one uh, 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 really went to detail with the uh, uh, townspeople, kind of like uh, 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 kind of like getting the Trails in the Sky games, though uh, uh, though they usually use stock S sprites. I know that look on your face. You're leaving again, aren't you? Yeah, I have some business to do. Don't worry, I don't plan on being gone for long. Oh, I'm jealous you always get to leave. I hope you stay safe, though. Everyone worries about you. Take this. My sis and I think you should have it. All right. Child's cornet. Thank, uh, thank you, Francis. Okay, this one lowers attack and agility. This one's really important because it'll let you outspeed the bosses and make it easier to, apl uh, to apply other debuffs before they get a chance to move. See anything up here? Uh, oh, whoops. I heard you're leaving again. Well, that can't be helped now, can it? Just come back soon and maybe you can teach us some magic. Okay, I guess technically her gift was included with her brothers. Alright. What was in here again? Church. Hello, Prince. I heard you're leaving soon. Yeah, I have some business to do. Don't worry. I don't plan on being gone for long. Well, while you're gone, I want you to be safe. If you're, if you're ever in trouble, don't hesitate to come back and rest. Take this with you. The Priest Potion. Oh, thank you, Catherine. Heals 100% of MP. This one, since it... Uh, this one is g probably one of those uh, types of items I'd save it right for the final battle. And even then, I think there's... Uh, I don't remember if there's a group healing potion in this game or not. There is a group healing hit point potion, but that's about it. Let's see. Items? I wish you wouldn't leave again, but I think I understand the need. Please remain safe and I'll make sure that everyone keeps you in their prayers. Nope, nothing. Down. Item shop, I heard you're leaving again, Prince Snow. Yeah, I, had, I have some business to do. Don't worry, I don't plan on being gone for long. I don't think you should. I'm sure you'll be fine. Remember to stay warm and don't do anything to bring harm to yourself. I packed you this. You receive a shop's package. Oh, thank you, Lily. This one contains a ton of healing items.
receive 5 tonics and 5 ethers and 5 revive herbs. It's Lily Sog Mutler who delights in sniffing your hand as you try to pat it on the head. Really wish there would be a way to buy MP potions at this point. It really helps in sustaining myself in dungeons. Luckily, the beginning enemies are not too difficult. I heard you're leaving again, Prince Snow. Yeah, I have some business to do. Don't worry, I don't plan on being gone for too long. Oh, okay, I hope you stay safe. I don't know what we'd do if you didn't come back. My husband and I made this for you when you leave again. Receive a loving potion. Aw, oh, thank you, Maryland. Alright, all hit points. I heard that you're leaving. I wish you'd take us with you, but if you're sure... I know it bothers my wife when you leave, so don't stay gone for long. Alright, there are people here too. I heard you're leaving again. Is that true? Yeah, I have some business to do. Don't worry, I don't plan on being gone for long. Oh well, make sure you stay safe. It gets cold out there. I think you wouldn't want to be cold. Oh, take this. My brother and I made it for you. You received one bead bracelet. Oh, thank you, Anastasia. Alright, this one ha gives medicine and it increases his magic. Alright, what does this skill do? Heals all the negative states. Alright, this would come in handy until I get someone who can actually heal it n naturally. There you're, you were leaving. Don't be gone long. It bothers a lot of people when you're gone. That's it. Alright, next house. Man, I have bad memory. I'm pretty sure I got the weapon shop area before. Alright, let's go with the inn. I heard you're leaving again, Prince Snow. Yeah, I have some business to do. Don't worry, I don't plan on being gone for long. I wish you would take more people with you, but if you're determined, I shall pray for your safe return. Please stay safe. You should use the inn's potion. Aw, oh, thank you, Hever. Huh, this one must be a battle one only. Kills hit point 50% and gets rid of status effects. <laughs> Alright. Better not use it because it's too valuable, right? I'm helping... I'm here helping keep this in clean because I... Okay, you already said that. Any guests I can talk to? Eh, just another... <laughs> clone. Nope. Upstairs, there's a, maybe there's a guest. Yes! I understand you're leaving because of, you have urgent business to take care of. Just don't forget about us. We'll be wishing you a safe return. Oh, my daddy said you're leaving again. Yeah, I have some business to do. Don't worry, I don't plan on being gone for long. But you just got back, I don't think you should leave so often. But if you're sure, just make sure to stay safe and warm. Here, take this with you. Elixir? How much does that heal? All. It's basically a sanctuary statue that can be used in battle. And it gets it's used on everyone, too. It's basically equivalent to a Final Fantasy Mega Elixir. Alright, to the bar. Far said you're leaving. Is it true? Yeah, I have some business to do. Don't worry, I don't plan on being gone for long. It is disappointing, but I understand. I don't have much to give you by way of help, but I hope this brings you luck. Cat, the brown cat doll. Oh, thank you, Charles. I think this might be useful on a side... In, if, like, not for a side quest, but for an actual story obstacle later. Hey, Sire, is it true you're leaving again? Yeah, I have some business to do. Don't worry, I don't plan on being gone for long. 
Uh, well, I hope it goes well. Make sure to stay safe. We don't need to lose you. Oh, take this with you. I made it myself. You received the pub's finest wine. Huh, thank you, Brian. It heals 50%. I'm surprised it doesn't include a drunk status effect or something. I legit break. All right, maybe there's more upstairs. Heard you were leaving again. That makes me a bit sad, but I will pray for your safe return. We'll miss you, that's for sure. Okay. To the next house. Are you headed off again? I hope you don't forget to bring water and food with you. Good luck, Prince Snow. We'll be praying for you. Don't forget to check upstairs. We have lots of extra items you can take. Too late. A lantern might be very helpful if you're heading past the forest. Yep, I already took everything. I'm surprised there's no cut see uh, there's no extra dialogue if you took everything already. Alright. Good luck, Prince Snow. I'm sure it'll be fine, but please don't get into trouble. No? Maybe someone upstairs will give something. Good luck, Prince Snow. Stay safe and don't be afraid of those stupid ghosts. You can kick their butts. Nothing here. Hmm. Alright. So, there's one more building. Um. Nothing. Okay, I guess that's it for now. Do the guards at the entrance have anything to say? Nothing? I guess not. I believe that's it for n for the town for now. I'm gonna head out in the next video. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe.